नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू यू चैनल सिंपली फाइव योर स्पेस इट इज अ ग्रेट फीलिंग टू बी एट योर होम आई वॉज मिसिंग दिस किचन ऑफ माइंड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम हैप्पी टू स्टार्ट माई रूटीन इन माई ओन किचन इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई हैड हाईलाइटेड द चेंजेस वी हैव मेड इन दिस होम ड्यूरिंग द रेनोवेशन If you haven't seen that video yet you will find its link in the description box When we shifted back we just dumped the items to get started but now that I am at a familiar space I am at ease and can take liberty of maintaining my comfortable pace of organizing Gradually boxes are opening and things are moving to their assigned places My first priority is as always to set up the kitchen so that we can minimize dependency on outside or ready to eat food Happy Tummy helps to haul a few extra hours when my routine schedule is loaded with the extra task of organizing. So today I am going to organize my kitchen. Now let's get started. By the way there has been no changes in the kitchen cabinets. They are the same. And I am going to organize them mostly in the same way as I have done before but yes the organizing style may be slightly different. These drawers mostly keep the cookware used on a daily basis such as different sizes of cookers, kadhais, frying pans, milk pans etc. Tea pans, bowls and colanders are stored here too. I have taken all this out and categorized them properly. After categorization now I will place them one by one properly. This is also an opportunity to remove the utensils that I don't want here. Next comes this plate drawer. In this all the plates, bowls and glasses are kept in the upper cabinet. I have taken out everything. To organize bowls and glasses, I will be using these two baskets. If I keep them directly in the drawer, they move and fall while opening the drawer. Baskets keep them sturdy. Now placing back all the plates as per their size. This lower drawer is used to store all the lids of kadhais and pans, chopping boards and serving trays. Removed everything and now placing all the lids as per their size. If I keep trays here, they don't stand and fall down. So to organize them properly, I will place a small plate rack here and fix it using cable ties. Now I can place chopping boards and trays easily. This corner cabinet has all the small kitchen appliances which again are just dumped and need to be placed properly. Appliances which I don't use much will be stored in another cabinet. Now placing back all the appliances. For electric chopper and Nutrifresh blender, I am using a basket to keep all the items together for easy access. Next to this is a pull-out cabinet which I use to store different types of oils and ghee. First I have placed an anti-slip liner on the shelf so that bottles don't move while opening the door. On the top shelf I have placed daily used oil dispensers and ghee pot. On the bottom shelf big bottles of oil refills are stored and that's all about this cabinet. Let's move ahead. Next are these drawers. I'll keep all the frying pans which I took out from the previous cabinet here in this drawer. I have used a pan holder here to organize all the pans and tawas. Now accessing them will be much easier. The top drawer is a cutlery drawer which has another drawer inside. 
They consist of variety of items like spatulas, ladders, cutlery, knives, peelers, lemon squeezer and many other items. I have taken out everything, cleaned the drawers and placed back items as per categories. Looks good now. Next is this corner cabinet where I store occasionally used items deep inside and daily needed items in the front. After removing everything, I have kept those items inside which are used occasionally with some extra items that we removed from the previous cabinet of small kitchen appliances. And things which are needed on a daily basis are kept at the front like casseroles, chakla, grater, etc. The cabinet below the hob is used to store big containers of rice and flour and there are no changes in that. In the tall unit where the oven and microwave are placed, there are two shelves and one drawer which are used to store all the food storage containers. The bottom drawer is used to store all the glass containers. The top cabinet has all the steel and Tupperware containers, some grocery and spice jars, oil containers, water bottles, etc. I have removed everything and categorized all the containers as per sizes. Now placing back all the containers. Lids are stored in these small baskets according to the sizes. After removing and categorizing the items, the lower shelf is assigned for steel and Tupperware containers. The top shelf is dedicated for extra grocery containers and spice bottles, water bottles and a few miscellaneous stuff. Below the breakfast counter, we have drawers. The bottom drawer is used for storing all the baking items like pans, a cake stand, cookie cutters, etc. The top drawer had all these items dumped here. So I removed everything and now will be using it to store all the food storage bags. Here I've used all the DIY paper bag baskets in which I have kept different sizes of zip pouches, brown paper bags, napkins, etc. I have also kept this DIY dispenser for cut clothes to wipe the countertop and spills. All the wooden sticks for grilling are stored in this shuttlecock box and the same is with straws. This Pringle box has all the muffin liners. And all the snack clips are stored in this small basket. We have this cabinet for storing veggies like potatoes, onions and garlic. Mostly only two bottom drawers are used for the same purpose and I've started using the top drawer to store all the kitchen towels and cloths. With this, all the bottom cabinets are done. Let's see the top cabinets. These cabinets are used for storing water glasses, mugs, ceramic bowls, etc. To organize them, I have removed everything. Place the folding shelves to use vertical space efficiently. Now placing back the items. This cabinet is assigned only for glasses and mugs. and this one for different types of bowls. The cabinets above this will have all the miscellaneous items like ice cube trays, sprout maker, milk frother and few other items. Earlier I used to keep a dinner set and wooden trays here but those are shifted to a new crockery unit in the dining area. Now let's see the side cabinets above the hob. Right cabinet has a standing mixer on the top shelf with two mixer jars which fit only on the top shelf. That's why keeping them there. Electric rice maker and small mixer jars are kept on the lower shelf. The left cabinet is a spice cabinet and consists all the daily needed spices and different types of salt. 
Spice boxes for daily needs are also kept here. I have labeled them because I'm still far from being a pro cook and sometimes get confused with their color and aroma. Now let's move to the pantry. It has three drawers at the bottom and three shelves on the top. I have organized it the same way as earlier as this is the comfortable setup. The shelves have container for spices, flours, breakfast items along with some miscellaneous food. As things usually get mixed up, I am labeling them for better identification and smooth and faster workflow. I have recently bought this label maker from Amazon. It works pretty good and makes label fast. Let's see how long it lasts. In the top drawer, all the big containers of tea, sugar, lentils and beans are stored. Bottom two drawers have all the extra monthly stocks and snacks. And these small boxes have all the sashes of coffee and tea. This big box of candies obviously belongs to my son. He collected all these candies on Halloween. He loves this candy box. Pantry is done, let's move ahead. I have kept minimal items on the kitchen countertop. A wooden rack with tea sugar containers and ceramic containers with different types of pickle. A knife set with holder. A trivet to keep hot dishes. Electric kettle and air fryer. And a few water bottles. Few planters are also kept to add beauty and greenery to this kitchen. There are few other kitchen appliances which are kept in the utility area as they are used from there only like wet grinder, bread maker, mixer grinder and juicer. And that's all about it. Idea was to arrange the kitchen as per baseline and later adapt or improve as per the requirement. I'm looking forward to making some beautiful meal memories here. A lot of you comment and ask why I have so many kitchen items, especially when we are a small family of three. Well, there are two main reasons. Our family members join us often and stay with us for months, so I need extra kitchenware. Second is, as a content creator, many times I make videos on kitchen and cooking. While shooting, a lot of dishes and cookware are used and it is not possible to wash them instantly. So I need to keep spare kitchen items for shoots. Also some stuff come for promotion and that's why I have duplicate items, which either stay as backup or later gifted away to friends and family. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. See you all next week. Happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.